In this video, we're continuing on with the free CUDA software worksheet, Writing Linear Equations. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access that worksheet. Our directions for this second video are to write the standard form of the equation of the line through the given point with the given slope. So we're given a point, we're given a slope, and we need to write that in standard form. Standard form, if you remember, is ax plus by equals c. So we need a linear equation that's in this form, standard form. However, we're given a point and a slope, so we're going to use point slope form and then rearrange that equation to get to standard form. Point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where y sub 1 and x sub 1 are the given point and m is the slope. So we're going to use x, y, plug those in for x1, y1, and then we're going to plug in the slope for m. So going over the steps one more time, we're using the given point and the slope, entering those into an equation in point slope form, and then rearranging that equation to get to standard form. So let's get started. Using point slope form, we have y minus y1, which is 2, and that's going to be equal to m, which is 7, times x minus x1, which is 1. Now we're going to distribute the slope of 7 to the x and to this 1. So we'll have y minus 2 on the left hand side equals 7 times x, so 7x minus 7 times 1, which is 7. Now we're going to rearrange to get ax plus by equal to c. So we need the x to go to this side with the y, and we need this 2 to go to this side with the 7. So we're going to start by subtracting 7x from both sides. When we do that, we'll get negative 7x plus y minus 2 equals negative 7. And now we just have to add 2 to both sides. So this will give us, I'll write this step over here, negative 7x plus y, which is equal to a negative 5. However, we're not quite in standard form yet. One of the caveats, or one of the rules of standard form, is that a, b, and c can have no common factors, which is true in this case, but also a has to be a positive number. So in order to fix that, we're going to multiply everything by negative 1. So multiplying the left by negative 1, and multiplying the right by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 7 is a positive 7x, plus negative 1 times y will be negative y, and that's going to be equal to negative 5 times negative 1, which is a positive 5. So the answer for number 9 is 7x plus negative y equals 5. Or you can say 7x minus y equals 5 because adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So go ahead and make a little note on your paper in case you forget that this a has to be positive. If you need help with writing standard form, I've done a tutorial on that, so go check it out on my channel. And number 10, let's write this in point slope form and then convert to standard form. y minus y1, so y minus a negative one, is equal to m, the slope, negative 1, times x minus x1 of 3. Now we're going to distribute this negative 1 and simplify. y minus negative 1 is y plus 1, and that's going to be equal to negative 1x plus, 
a positive 3 because a negative times a negative is a positive. Now let's move the x to the other side and this 1 to the right hand side. So we're going to add 1x to both sides. So that'll be x plus y plus 1 equals 3. And now we'll subtract 1 from both sides to get that x plus y equals a positive 2. ax plus by equals c. In number 11, y minus y1 is y minus 5, and that's equal to the slope of negative 4, our m, times x minus x1, so x minus a negative 2, which is x plus 2. Distributing the negative 4, we get y minus 5 equals negative 4x plus a negative 8. Add 4x to both sides to get that 4x plus y minus 5 equals negative 8. Now all we have to do is add 5 to both sides. We'll have 4x plus y equal to a negative 3. ax plus by equals c. So 4x plus y equals negative 3 is the solution for number 11. Number 12, y minus y1, y minus 5 equals m 5 thirds times x minus x1, which is 3. Distributing the 5 thirds, y minus 5 on the left equals 5 thirds x minus 5 thirds times 3 is 5. Moving 5 thirds x to the other side, we'll get negative 5 thirds x plus y minus 5 equals a negative 5. Then we'll add 5 to both sides. That will give us negative 5 thirds x plus y equals negative 5 plus 5 is 0. And we're almost in standard form. However, this a is negative, which we know it can't be. And for ax plus by, a, b, and c must be integers. So let's go ahead and make it all positive first. So we'll multiply by negative 1 on both sides. So we'll have 5 thirds x plus negative y equals 0 times negative 1 is 0. And in order to make 5 thirds an integer, we're going to multiply by the denominator. Whatever we do to the left side of the equation, we must do to the right. So we're going to multiply by a positive 3 to both sides. 3 times 5 thirds is going to be 5x, and that's going to be added to 3 times negative y, which is negative 3y, and that equals 0 times 3, which is 0. So in standard form, 5x minus 3y equals 0, or 5x plus negative 3y equals 0. So again, remember for standard form, a, b, and c are integers. A is non-negative, therefore A has to be positive, and there are no common factors between A, B, and C. And number 13, y minus y1 is going to be y plus 4, since minusing a negative is the same as adding a positive, and that's going to be equal to the slope of negative 1 times x minus 2. We'll get y plus 4 equals negative x plus 2 after we distribute the negative 1. Moving the x to the other side, we'll get x plus y plus 4 equals a positive 2, and then we'll subtract 4 from both sides to get that x plus y 
equals negative 2 as the solution for number 13. Number 14 is relatively easy. The slope is undefined. And remember, an undefined slope is a vertical line. And a vertical line would be x equaling some number. That's saying that for whatever y value you have, x is always going to be the same. That's what creates that vertical line. But if we're going through the point 2, 5, then that x is going to be equal to 2. Here's our graph. I'll go ahead and say that this point 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 occurs approximately here. And if we have a vertical line going through that point, then x is going to be equal to 2. And that's our equation for number 14. Number 15, y minus y1 equals m 1 half times x minus x1, which is 3. Distributing the 1 half, we'll get 1 half x minus 3 halves. Subtract 1 half x from both sides, we'll get negative 1 half x plus y minus 1 equals negative 3 halves. Now we're going to add 1 to both sides to get that negative 1 half x plus y equals negative 3 halves plus 1 is like saying negative 3 halves plus 2 over 2, since 1 is equivalent to 2 over 2. Now that we have a common denominator, negative 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2 is going to equal negative 1 half. A is a fraction and C is a fraction, but luckily for us, they have the same denominator, so we're going to multiply by a 2 to convert those into whole numbers or into integers. Also within the same step, we're going to convert the a to be a positive number. So as opposed to multiplying by negative 1 and then multiplying by that positive 2, we're just going to multiply by negative 1 times 2, which is a negative 2. So multiplying both sides by negative 2 will take care of the fractions by converting them to integers, and it's going to take care of the fact that that a is negative. So distributing the negative 2, negative 2 times negative 1 half is a positive 1. So that's going to be x plus negative 2 times y is negative 2y. And that's going to be equal to negative 1 half times negative 2, which is positive 1. x minus 2y equals 1 is the equation through the point 3, 1 with the slope of 1 half in standard form. And finally, our last problem in this section, number 16. y minus y1 is y minus 2, and that's equal to the slope 2 times x minus x1, which will be x plus a positive 1. Distributing that 2, we'll have y minus 2 on the left-hand side equal to 2x plus 2 on the right. Now, in all the previous problems, I've started by subtracting the x. However, the x is already positive in this case, so I'm going to show you a different method or a different set of steps you can take. Instead of moving the x to the other side, let's go ahead and move the y this time. So we're going to subtract y from both sides at the start. We'll have negative 2 on the left, and that's going to be equal to 2x minus y plus 2. 2x plus 2 minus y. Now, let's subtract the 2 from both sides to get that negative 4 equals 2x minus y. And this is essentially already a standard form. We just have to flip this equation. So what's on the right, we're going to write on the left. And what's on the left, we're going to write on the right-hand side. So 2x minus y, or plus a negative y, equals negative 4. 
AX plus BY equals C. And indeed, the A is positive, A, B, and C are all integers, and they do not have a common factor between all three. So 2x minus y equals negative 4 is the solution for number 16. If you have any questions on point slope form or standard form, go ahead and check out go ahead and check out a couple of the tutorial videos in my tutorial section on YouTube. Also, please subscribe and don't forget to like this video.